I can't do it. Too. I can't do it. I, I, I can't kill a man. I can't, I can't even tell me to kill a man. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something you don't know. Uh, you are signing your death warrant, okay? As you speak, someone just called me. That the guy in question is studying all alone in their faculty block. So go in there, blow his brain and bounce. Stop acting like an old fool. What have I done to you? I've thought nothing but good for you in, in this campus, eh? Please, how can, how can you do this to me? Please, what have I done to you to deserve this listen, now? Listen, okay? I did you a great favor. I connected you to the set of people that sets the agenda in this school and out there in the larger society. Top academicians, big politicians, business tycoons are all members as well. Right? Being a comment grants you protection and success in this school and even when you graduate. So you're supposed to be appreciating me, you're not blabbing me, I don't want that kind of favor, I don't want it. You know me now, you know my family, you know the family I call Oh now. my good God! This is the annoying part of this whole thing. We're talking about serious business and here telling me about your family. Do you think I give a heck what your family stays look like? Eh? Listen, let me tell you what you don't know. You have 18 hours, read my lips, 18 hours to kill that guy. Else, the comments will come for you, track you, and kill you. In fact, bury you alive to be precise. And I'll make sure I leave that hit. Right? And nothing, absolutely nothing will happen. Chidi, you know what? You know what? I can't do it. You understand me? I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Though. Let me just tell you now. And as I'm leaving this place, I am going to the school authorities to report you people. That's it. Listen, that will be a suicide mission. Right? So don't go there. Don't go there. Watch me. Justice! Justice! Hello? Yes, Capon. Now she do the talk now. Listen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please, 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 because we control this environment. But because such threats are being punished with one finger of the corporate cut off. But I'm leaving you with your fingers as a last act of mercy. Thank you, Kofu. Thank you. But any other fuck up, I will make you a man with not even a finger. Now go and clean up your mess. Go and execute your assignment. Remember, you have 16 hours left. Don't give the comments any opportunity to cut you into pieces. We are all pissed about you. Now go! Fine, boss. Screw it! See you, big guys.
Cross, who, who, who are you? None of your business. I was sent to kill you, but I can't. Oh my God, I'm finished. But who, who sent you to kill me? None of your business. Yes, yes. Now, if you love your life, stay away from this campus. Do you understand me? What? But how could you do this? Just no, shut up. Yes, sir. We didn't meet, did we? No, sir, we didn't, no, sir. Did we? No, sir, we didn't. Did we meet? No, sir. Did we? No, sir, we didn't, sir. Now, pick your box. Yes, sir. And bounce. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Stop there, Justice! I'm a commerce. What? Just one act of obedience would have saved your life. But by doing this, you're already a dead man. I'd rather we end it here and now. <laughs> Come on, Justice. For how long will you continue being stupid and naive? You think the comet will ask you to kill one of them just like that? Draw brain. There's no bullet in that gun in your hand. You're a liar. Come on, shoot me. Go ahead, shoot. Ah! <laughs> Brave justice. Too late to act. Move. Say move. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? He's dead. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After what happened, I couldn't let him escape. Oh, we all will be in hot soup. How do you mean you couldn't let him escape? The instructions given to you was to bring him down here. So we could implement the reason for his initiation. Was what I was doing until he got to a point close to the student. He took off. I had to waste all my bullets on him and run for my dear life. What nonsense are you ranting about, Andy? Are you telling all of us here that you could not even confirm him dead? For real? Damn, see, I swear to God, there's no way that guy could survive those bullets. Father will see this as a failure on our own part. I did tell you. The essence of the whole operation has been defeated. And you. You boggled it all. Andy. Charles. Capone. I'm sorry, Andy. Some cleansings need to be done here to save other comments from the backslash of your fuck up. And you and I know it well in this confraternity that the wages of failure is. I still don't get it. I, 
What manner of a male friend washes clothes for a girl like you? Gwyneth, it's a long story, okay? And hey, I am not ready to start telling, okay? Why is this such a secret, you know why? Why are you so interested in my business? Help me. Jesus! Justice! Justice! Help me. Oh my God! What, what is it? Help me. Justice! Help me. What is this? What happened to you? Please, let's help him. He's losing so much blood, oh my God. Carry his legs. Carry his legs. Justice, just hang on, okay? Just hang on. Carry the legs. Sorry. Harriet, how well do you know this young man? He sustained two gunshot injuries and he has lost so much blood. Doctor, he's my friend. Are you sure he's not a cultist? Well, Doctor, I don't know. I'm not going to try to defend him if he is or if he isn't because really, I, I, I really don't know. Doctor, for my sake, please, can we just on our own try to find out why he sustained those gunshots. You see, his father just lost his sight. And now the entire family responsibilities is on his shoulders. So please, let's just keep this on the down low. I'm required by the law to report any gunshot injury to the police before commencing any comprehensive treatment. I am telling you this because of the close relationship between I and your family. Doctor, please, for that same relationship, I beg of you, just do as I've asked. Please. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Doctor, but that's the only way I'm going to stay away from this case, as you advised. Honey. I feel tired more and more as each day passes. But you should. You can see the baby is growing bigger and bigger every day. Here you are past eight months. <laughs> I'm not comfortable having this baby here. I would have really loved to have my baby in the UK, you know? You there are more experienced hands there. You, you see, you worry so much. I told you not to worry. Trust me. There are better hands here. The doctor promised that he will invite the best gynecologist to take care of this. You don't need to worry. I'm scared. Both of you will be fine. Hmm. Believe it. Honestly, Harriet, I don't understand you anymore over this issue. The guy needed help and you helped him out. Fine and good. You came to like him, which is natural. But you guys are not into any serious relationship. He hid where he truly was from you, even when you asked, and sent you away from his room like a nobody. And now that he's facing the consequences of his own action, you are here worrying yourself stiff over him. Look, the guy doesn't deserve it. He does deserve it. Queen, he's a human being. He's someone's son, for Christ's sake. He's a cultist, Harriet. Even if he is a cultist, I mean, no one knows. Not Dr. Dennis, not you nor I. And even if he turns out to be a cultist, he doesn't change the fact that he's a human being. He's not just anyone, he's my friend. Yes, he is. But you can't help him out in this case. It's too dangerous. And your father wouldn't like it. Queen Eva. Good friends are not known for what they do in time of good and joy, but what they do in time of danger and need. And justice does not deserve what he's getting from me. I mean, I don't give him what he deserves as a friend. You know what, Gwyneth? I'm going back to that hospital to get him. Don't try to stop me. Harriet! Harriet! The doctor said you should take me to the patient I brought here yesterday. Oh, you can see I'm very busy. He's in 1013. I think you can trace the alone, please. Oh, no problem. Yes, just, just go this way. Thank you. You're welcome. Look, 
Doctor, I'm sorry I disobeyed you. But... But what? I told you about your father's warning. He doesn't want to see you here. Doctor, I know that. But I, I just wanted to know how he's doing. Tell me, how is he faring? If we get his blood match in the next two hours, he needs blood transfusion. Okay, so go ahead. Don't you have any in your bank? Look, I'll pay whatever it is. I'll foot all the bill. Just go ahead, please. We don't have his blood match. Uh, okay, but why don't you check me? I could be a match, you never know. I'm ready to, to donate my blood. Please. I do no such thing, Harriet. Doctor, you took an oath to save lives, remember? I did not swear to endanger other people's lives trying to save a life. Then release him to me if you won't do what I ask you to do. You must be. Doctor, I will not just report it to the Nigerian Medical Association. I will sue you for manslaughter should anything, anything happen to this man. So. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Come with me. before you people got to this place. God, why this all over again? But doctor, you gave me your word this time around. You promised that you will do everything possible to make this one a different story. Doctor, why? Honestly, I did everything I could. Actually, I invited you here to tell you that this situation is getting stranger and stranger. Since Harry's birth, this is the fourth time a wife of yours and a baby died just before delivery. 
and the way each of them happened defied every medical explanations. Chief, I invited you here to suggest that you seek a spiritual explanation and a possible solution. Father, how dare you lie to me? Father, I, I never wanted to lie to you, but do us that mouth. Tell Kelly to take you outside and cut your silly throat. You lied to me that justice is dead. And I saw him recuperating in the hospital today. Whose idea was it to lie to me? Ah, collective decision, right? Father, I apologize on behalf of every comment on campus. We did you a great wrong. Which punishment ought to be dead? But Father, how many would you kill? For your wrong, you know we can easily take care of if given a second chance. Father, just tell me the hospital you saw him. And I swear by my blood, we'll take care of it. If you take care of him, who will take care of my daughter? You moron. She is fully into it now. In fact, she donated blood to save the bastard life. So tell me, how do you think you can do that without wrecking her emotionally? Especially now, she's mourning my late wife. If you ask me, Chief, leaving that boy alive will haunt all of us at the end of the day. If he gains consciousness, he would definitely sing. I mean, he would open his mouth so wide and sing, not just to Harriet, but to all the security agencies. Chief, I suggest will silence him permanently now before the damage is done. As for your daughter, if she's badly affected, you can get her a psychological help. I want this case closed, Morgan. And do it very smooth. One more failure one more failure, I will drink the blood of all of you. Consider you don't, Father. Accept my... Take this idiot out of my sight.
think what Dr. Dennis said was right. I think it's time you sought a spiritual solution to those problems. All right. I don't want to discuss that with you. Dad, I am your daughter. Your only child for that matter. Does that make it binding on me to discuss everything with you? Does it? Daddy, I understand your mood. Believe me, I do. But do not think for one second that this is any easier on me because it is not. Those ladies that died, they are women whom I grew to love and trust. They do not deserve to die. Not the unborn kids who would have been my siblings had they, had they survived. Dad, do not forget that my own mother also died while giving birth to me. I only survived by the grace of God. Harriet, by that same grace of God, one day, a baby will survive for us. And live a motherless life like I did? Dad, if you do not think that it is time you did something about this, I do. And if you will not seek the solution, Dad, I will. I read to go back to school. I will definitely go back to school. But I will do what you want. Go back to school today. I mean now. What? Now? Wise woman. This is the fifth time. The fifth time is happening. Yes. And as it is now, no one will agree to marry me again. I'm here for solution. When the evil one strikes, the heart of the innocent gets wounded. When the evil forest rejects the corpse of an evil man, will the gods be blamed? The gods are not to be blamed. Hmm. Even if anyone agrees to marry you, she will still die in labor like other ones before her. How? How do you mean? When a man spits on air, it falls back to him and defices his face. Your hands are heavily stained with the blood of innocent souls. Most especially that of the pregnant woman in labor. Yes, her spirit is very, very angry with you. Appease her, or your wives and babies will continue to die during labor. Wise one, I will appease her. Just tell me what it will cost, and I will foot the bill. When a bird wants to pitch on a rope, that bed will not be first of all ready to dance with the rope. No matter how dark the night, it must break into day. Mm. She requires no money or sacrifice. Just tell her that the truth about how she died. And everything will stop. No, I can't do a thing like that. I can't. That is my secret, I can't. Oh, you can't? Then be ready to dance the music. 
So when the child refused to heed to the advice of the person that thought he may be CD, he bites his tongue while singing it. Yes, it is only a foolish cockroach that will go for a party where fowls are special guests. Listen, it is very, very easy to give by one to a monkey, but to recover the cup from him is very difficult. Get out of my sight! Get out! A child does not tell his father this is where we live before. Don't be excited in the head of Scorpion because on his tail there is poison. Justice, feel free to talk. He's our own personal family doctor and also a friend. Yes, and your friend too. I reported your case to the police and as a result, two young men who identified themselves as Cohen and Chede, who were here a few hours ago to kill you, were arrested right inside this place. There is nothing to worry about, Justice. As you speak now, there are lots of plain clothes police men brewing all over the hospital just for your security. So you are safe. Okay, nothing will happen to you. Just talk to us. Who shot you? Oh, come on, go ahead. His name is Andy. A second year accounting student of our school and a member of Comet's Confraternity. It all started when. So far, I've consulted not less than three native doctors, and they offer me the same solution. How can I possibly face Harriet? to tell her that I was the one that killed her biological mother. Indeed, it was a heinous crime I committed. But it was necessary to save my pride and perhaps my life would have been seriously endangered if I had allowed her to leave. Anyway, if this is indeed the only solution to hell with it, I can't. I can't. Father. They found the mountain, sir. What happened? Two of our guys that went to kill. Justice at the hospital. We were arrested by the police before they could pull the heat. What? Father, you see, it, 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 it wasn't our fault. You see, b before they could just go inside and we were watching. Shut up! Where were your colleagues? They are here with me. Everyone that knew what was really going on is here with me, sir. Kelly! Chief. Lock all of them up and make sure no one goes anywhere until we tidy this mess up. All right, Chief. Chief. Chief, shut up. I want to know one thing here, Governor. Did you either by mistake or deliberately say anything about a comet? A comet can be battered, but can never be broken. They got nothing from us, Father. 
Are you sure you did not say anything about what necessitated the operation that brought you here? If the choice becomes between betraying the comet's confraternity or one's life, a true comet will choose death. Article 19 of the Comet's Code of Honor. And we are true comets. You are true comets indeed. You are true comets indeed. I want to assure you that it will be out here in no time. But keep your mouth shut. Oh, Chief. You're welcome. Please sit down. So, how may I help you? Deep you. I'm here in respect of the boys. Your men arrested at the hospital yesterday. The school courtists? The alleged Courtist. I want you to release them to me. Chief, I, I am surprised that a man of your social standing is here making such request of me. If I may ask, Chief, what is your relationship with such deviants? That question is absolutely not important. I want you to release the boys to me. <laughs> Chief Pascal, look, those boys were arrested not just for antisocial activities on campus, but also for attempting murder. This is a case of organized crime, and we are still investigating it. So for that, Chief, I, I, I am duty-bound to say no to you. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. Yes, he is refusing to release the boys to me, as I told you he might. I'm right in his office now. Okay. Talk to the AIG in charge of your zone. Take it. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I, I am so sorry, Chief. The boys will be released to you immediately. Okay? Pascal, you don't think we are fools, do you? I'm giving you time to clean this mess yourself. Because if you don't, we will come after you. Believe me, we are going to wipe your entire family off this earth crust. And that reminds me, not even your fiancé We escape the fire when we start burning. A rayo will burn like fire. Clean up your mess, Pascal. Boys, let's bounce. Hey, Pascal, this is your sense in your mess. Pascal! Pascal! You have just 48 hours to clean your mess up. You're here, Pascal. What was it you said you want to talk about? Spill, let's hear you. It's raining. Yeah, no. What was it that you told me the last time? Make I use my head. 
clean up my mess, she? Eh, nah, nah. I think I found a solution to my problem. Mm. All right. Pascal. Pascal. No, no, Pascal. We, Pascal, we can walk some. I delivered during my own days. Why can't this boy deliver? Why? Boys. Your performance so far is a dent to the pride of every comet, dead or alive. The National Supreme Council of the Confraternity, of which I am the chairman, has become aware of this, and they are not happy. This is not the spirit. On the council's special request, I am giving you guys one more week to clean up this mess with justice blood, or I will clean it with yours. One more week. This is the symbol of a comet, excommunicated and marked for death. The National Supreme Council has placed it on the head of justice. Go and execute it. That's why they sent me this message. Uh, oh my god. Message. Oh my god. What what? What is it? What message? The lizard of the stick. means I've been delisted from the cult and marked for death. Jesus. You could be here any moment. What? In my own house? Yes. I... Oh, oh my... Okay, let, let, let's just get out of here. Let's go. To get where? Out. I don't know. Anywhere. Let's just get out of here. Please. It's, it's not you they want, okay? It's me. If you ask me, you've done your best, you've done enough for me already. Can you go into your house, please, and let me carry my cross, but please? Please, don't say that again. Don't say that. If I leave you like you want me to and anything happens to you, my life will never know peace. It will be a living torture. So get in the car and let's get out of here. Now, please. Get in the car, let's go. Just get in, get in. I don't know where else to go to. Just let him stay here for the night. And tomorrow I'll go out there and try and find a way to put an end to all of this. Are you in love with Justice Harriet? Gwyneth! What has feelings got to do with this? So what is it that you're risking your life like this for him? Who is he? Gwyneth, look, he's my friend. Justice is out there in my car, scared stiff. And just one act of mercy, one, one act of mercy could make him leave. 
And what happens to him and I after that? And what is that supposed to mean? The comet traced him to your house and left a death signal. If you don't know what that means, it means you're fully involved too. I mean, do you have to endanger your life with a total stranger? Look, I will not do the same by letting him into this room. I will not. Ah, Gwyneth. Gwyneth, come on. We are friends. If you still believe in that, then take my candid advice, Harriet. Let justice go and steal his own juice. It's a stupid risk you are taking for him. This should be happening to me. I don't know. Justice, nothing is happening to you. Oh, what, what are you saying? You, you saw the way the police pushed us away to go and die with our problems. The much I've told you about my family is not for you to understand the war I'm fighting within here. I made a promise to my father and my brother, and the worst part is I can't stop these people. I can't. Of course, I know you can't. But I can. You can? Yes. How can you say you can? Look, we are hiding here in the hotel. How can you stop assassins? How can you stop murderers that can kill anyone and get away with it? And the police can't even stop them. How can you stop them? Justice, whoever is behind these things is probably very influential and powerful. But don't worry. Once my father comes into the picture, we shall see who the influential person is. Just relax. Is that supposed to be a consolation now? Eh? Tell me. Justice, I am taking you and this issue to my father. Once you meet my father, I can promise you that this whole thing is going to be history. Why don't you just relax? Just sit down, relax. Why is the bastard? Nobody is in the house, my lord Capo. What? You say there is nobody in the house? And Cone confirmed he saw him driving towards this area at about 5 p.m. Chede, if he is not in the house, then where is he? How was that? Capone. I think it was a mistake placing the death sign at the gate here. I mean, it must have alerted him to the danger facing him right now. Guys, the way I am saying this, it's like Harriet has decided to swim and sink with that bastard. By our code, does that make her a target too? <laughs> Give her as much as a bruise and her father will bury her alive. The search continues until we find and waste that justice. Charles, Capone, get the sign. We are out.
over. Just so, what, what is it? Why did you, God, why did you scream like that? You scared me. What? I'm sorry. It, it was a nightmare. They, they tried to kill me. What's my life turning into now? Just as no one is going to kill you. You hear me? I will do anything I can. Everything in my powers to make sure that you're safe. No harm will come to you, I promise you. Just take it easy. Why are you doing all this? If I had told you, would you have believed me? It was my first time too. What? Are you serious? After this crisis, I'll tell you a lot of things you don't know about me. Yeah. I'm sure my father will end everything today once we get to the house. It's all going to be history. You came here to get my help to stop some people threatening your life. Daddy, how did you know? Look, Dad, please. You really just need your help. My dear, you are all I have. So no one comes closer to you without me investigating to know why and who he is. For justice, can I know your background? Sir, uh, my mother was a petty trader before she left my father. And my father, in turn, was a junior prison official. You mean a warder? And uh, I heard you say he was, which means he's doing something more lucrative at the moment. Chief, my father got blind not long ago and got discharged when... Hold it. Um, Daddy, seriously, he needs your help. Harrod, meal table has its rules. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. Justice, come on. You know how fathers are. Most of the times they tend to be a little jealous when they meet their daughter's lovers. I thought you should know that by now. Well, that could also mean that the chances of my getting the help I need from him would be very slim. Relax. He's my dad and I'll talk to him. Okay? Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let, let me go talk to him for a minute. But just calm down, okay? known you to be a man with a passion to help the needy. Now, tell me, how can I help justice without putting you on the line of danger, Harriet? Harriet, even if I can get them here to promise to spare his life, it cannot be reliable because they are not gentlemen. Their words means nothing to them. Not when you involve the kind of friends that you have. The top security agents, the top politician friends of yours, even our own VC is your personal friend, Daddy. 
Just call me. him for me. Thank you. And I want him to come along, please. Young man, have you slept with my daughter? I take your silence to mean yes. Um, sir, it was actually... I did not call you here to tell me why or how it happened. I give you two options. Leave my daughter alone, and I will get a comet to drop the threat on your life. Continue to mess with her. You are on your own. Now choose your life or my daughter. Again, I take your silence to mean your life. Yeah, yes, sir. But you see, I am monitoring her rest line. If you call her or pick her call after now, the deal is off. <sighs> sir, I will. I will neither call your daughter nor even pick her call, sir. And I thank you for helping Can me out with the comments. Use the back door and take him out of my house. All right, Chief. Morgan, he is on his way back to the campus, and this today. Dad, where is Justice? I've searched for him everywhere in this house. He's nowhere to be found. I've been calling his phone and he's not picking up. The next thing I know, he turned off his phone. Calm down, Daddy Angel. You see, people from Justice social class could be anything but reliable. And what exactly are you talking about, Dad? The truth is this. Justice has been manipulating you. He knew you very well, even before you met him. The scenario you met him was pre-planned. He planned and executed the so-called threat to his life, only in a bit to get you to introduce him to me. So, Daddy... What you're telling me now is that justice is a gold digger. Absolutely so, my dear. That is it. If justice is a gold digger, he would be here asking you to give him money and not begging you to help save his life from... Courtists. Yes, he is one of them. And he has always been from his first year in the university. His so-called appeal for help. Uh, he just... His first step towards gaining my friendship and trust. And once he succeeds, he plans to... Dad, just, just, just stop it, okay? Just stop it. Stop it this minute, please. For the last time, where is justice? Well, my dear, he hurriedly left when he realized that I knew all he was planning. You said he left without telling you and he off his phone. So him, my dear, is game over. Yes, I want you to be strong and forget about him. Yes. Dad, I will definitely find justice. 
Harriet. Harriet! Hello, my Lord Kapoor. Yeah, he, he just entered the campus. Yes. He's heading towards Block G. All right. I'll be monitoring him. I'll call you as soon as I know his next movement. Make sure you don't lose him, okay? Good. Justice is back to school. Now listen, Chidi. You have failed us in this operation. Fail us again this time around. It will be your last duty in life. I swear by my life, that bastard must die today. Enough! Enough of talking, Chidi. That's your weapon. You will get a call from the guy tracking him. He will tell you where he is. You may go now. I'm so sorry. I swear to God, it wasn't my fault. I can explain this. She didn't my place. If you open your miserable mouth again, I will blast your skull. And same goes to all of you. Drop your guns on top of that table. All of you. Drop your guns, you have him. Stop your guns. Stop your guns. Kelly. Yes, Chief. Seize them. We will take care of them at my convenient time. All right, Chief. But, Father, we can still sort these things out. Anyone that opens his mouth again to talk, I will take you to another planet just like him. All right, move it. Move it!
dare you? And what are you doing here? Chief, Chief, I swear, I, 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 I swear, it's not my fault. I kept to my own part of the bargain, seriously, Chief. I swear. You sure did. And her condition here speaks volume of it, doesn't it? Chief, please, please, I, I... Whatever you have with Harriet ends this moment. I swear, if I see you anywhere near her in this hospital or wherever, I will have you killed myself. Chief, I beg you, I beg you in the name of God. Kelly. Yes, Chief. Throw him out of this hospital and break his bones if he resists. All right, Chief. of surviving I can't tell until we perform the operation to remove the bullet from her body what are you waiting for then chief she was brought here almost dead we need to stabilize her first or she will die during the operation dr. Dennis yes. whatever it will take you to pull her out of this please do I don't need to tell you what she means to me. She is all I have. I'll do my best. I know you will do your best. Aha. Uh -huh. I saw that idiot justice in her world when I got here a while ago. Who allowed him access to her? He's the person that brought her here. But for his efforts, she would have bled to death. I don't want to know what he did for her. After all, he is the bad luck. I threw him out. And I don't want to see him anywhere near my daughter again. Chief. Chief, don't her word is my daughter. And I have spoken. You sent for me, Chief. Sit down, Kelly. I think it's time to change tactics in our bid to separate Harriet and Justice. Besides, he has to pay for what happened to her. Chief, are you suggesting I should hunt him down and waste him myself? No. I want us to use the law so as to reduce the psychological effect for Harriet when she eventually wakes up. You can call it the original plan, and you will not be far from the truth. But this time... Hello, Dr. Dennis. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, I'll, I'll be there now, I'll be there. Kelly, Harriet had just come out of coma again. Let's go to the hospital and see her. Sorry to tell you that your blood does not match hers. You must be... Chief, I was not trying to toy with people's lives. I was trying to save lives. Her case might become critical if we don't get the blood to perform the surgery. I'm sorry, Harriet. 
I never knew it would come to this. I am sorry. But I swear, if anything happens to you, that Nikonbub justice and the entire family will pay with their blood. Yes, they will pay. I don't intend disobeying you. But I can't leave Harriet in this condition. Chief, if you want to kill me, go ahead and kill me now. Kill me, Chief. Kill me in this world. I'd rather die here than die elsewhere. Chief, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this. Get out of my sight. What's the next plan, Chief? You have the grim light. Be very careful this time around. No more silly mistakes. All right, Chief. Trust me, I'll handle it. What's your take on this, CSO? Um, well, officer, as you can see, it's a clear case of a court murder. And um, with the information on this file, he must have been killed by his roommate, or Mr. Justice Bassett. Yes. Why did you jump to conclusion so fast, CSO? We've been on the trail of the victim. The suspect and some other members of the Common Confraternity in the past few weeks. So, officer, we give it to you to hand over the investigation. <sighs> anyway, thank you very much, CSO. Let's get the ambulance and the forensic guy to take over for now and we supervise them. Come with me. Come with me. The doctor said the surgery was a success. That is why I'm out of coma already. You know, thank you for saving my life. I owe you mine, remember? Justice. Justice. And I love you too. When you see Queen Ed, tell her I said thank you for saving my life yesterday. I don't understand. You 
you don't understand. Officer, that's him. You are under arrest. What? What was the meaning of this? Why am I being arrested? For the murder of Chidi Chijoke, your roommate. What? What? What was this? What are you talking about? You are coming with me to the station. You better behave yourself. Officer. Officer. Officer, but please. I mean, what? What? what I didn't do anything. Officer. No, move. Officer. Move. Officer. 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 Oh. Harriet? 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 Jeez. Oh Harriet? Harriet? Are you now ready to tell us the truth? Officer, I did not kill Chidi. I did not kill Chidi. I did not kill Chidi. You have kept me here for hours now. I've been telling you the same thing over and over again. I did not kill Chidi. You think I enjoy being here? If you don't tell me the truth, I won't let you go. I mean, what else do you want to hear from me? Tell me what else. What else do you want to hear from me? You sure want to die in police custody? I did not kill Chidi. Dad, do you really love me? Like you always say you do. Harriet, words cannot fully express my love for you. That is Angel. I love you. You are all I have. Is there anything you wouldn't do for me? Absolutely nothing. Please. Tell the police to release justice. You see, that boy's case, as it is now, is beyond my influence. It's beyond what I can influence. You see, they said he murdered. Just oh, justice is not a murderer. I did not say he is a murderer. The police did. And I believe they have their facts. Whatever facts they have are false. I know justice. He would not want to fly. They said he did that to avenge you. Daddy, justice could never kill any man. Not even for me. And you said he loves you? Dad, you are a very influential man in this country. I know that with your influence, you can get the police to release justice. Do this for me, for my sake. Have them release justice, please. Yes, Harriet. I am influential. But you see, murder is a heinous crime, and I can never involve myself. I need to rest. Are you asking me out of this place? I'm sorry, Dad. Excuse me. Oh! oh. When I got to your house, your dad that I saw was a man in so much pain. 
How could you treat him like this, knowing how much you mean to him as his only child? Goodness. Do you know how much justice means to me? Harriet, we're talking about your father for Christ's sake. No matter what, family should always come first. Do you value this friendship? Of course I do. And do you wish that I come out of here alive? What are you talking about, Harriet? You brought justice back to this hospital after he left your house, barely alive. He spent the night here, battling to stay alive, according to you. According to the police, Chidi was killed last night. Queen justice has been falsely accused. This is a setup. I know. Then help him. Help him, Queen Get the police to release him. And I will know that you're a friend who truly cares about me. Harriet, what you what you asking? Listen. I don't need you here as much as justice needs you. At that police cell. Just go and help him. Ah, ah. Ah. I'm fine, just go. You mean you told them everything you just told me now and they still wouldn't let me go? I did. They said they'll investigate my claim first. No, they won't. Someone very powerful is behind my ordeal. I can feel it. Do you have a pen and paper, please? I have a pen, but... Okay. Let me do this. Say thank you for everything, Queenette. Back to the cell. I swear by the love we share. I did not kill anybody. I know. I know. So what do you intend to do now? I don't know. Thank you very much for being there for him. Thank you. Honoring our friendship. Thank you. Dr. Dennis, how are you? All right. How is my daughter doing? What? Who distressed her without my... Okay. Harriet left the hospital. Sneaked out of the hospital without any of you seeing her. Now listen to me and listen very really good, Dr. Dennis. If anything happens to that girl, I will close that hospital and take your life. 
idiot. What is the problem, Chief? Get out. Sorry, Chief. Kelly. Get the car ready, we are going somewhere. It's alright. Let me get the keys. Having said that, Harriet. We are working on the assumption that he murdered them to avenge you, considering what you did for him before the shooting. TPO, with all due respect, that assumption was wrong. If he wanted to avenge me, he would have done it the minute I was shot. Why? I mean, because as a layman that he is, he would have thought I was dead. He would not have taken me to the hospital. TPO, that assumption is so wrong. Listen, Harriet, you, you are a medical student. You are not a criminal psychologist. So what, what, what are you talking about? TPO, justice did not just take me to the hospital, but he donated almost all his blood to keep me alive. He was almost unconscious when he left the hospital. On his way back from school, he sensed danger and went to my friend's place for help. And he passed out there. My friend brought him to the hospital unconscious. He was in intensive care the whole night. The people tell me, how is it possible for someone in that condition to kill someone? That was like three kilometers away from where he was. How is it possible? All these were what you were told, right? Because if my information is right, you were in coma throughout the period the event occurred. So, how come you believe the story so strongly? Tell me! Tell me! I love just. Let me tell you, emotions has no place in criminal investigation, Harriet. Well, uh, it might interest you to know that we are not the only people convinced of his culpability in the killing. Your university is also convinced. And so, they sent him this expulsion letter a while ago. An expulsion letter. Oh God. Oh God. Tibio, I hope he hasn't seen that yet. I hope you've not shown him to him. You you can take it to him yourself. Okay? the car. Drive out of here fast. No, no, no. Look, I, I can't. Just tell me. What, what, what? You put me in trouble. We can't talk here. For security reason, 
I'm not going to tell you my name. But like I said earlier, I'm a friend, not a fool. What do you want from me? I want to tell you that I believe that your boyfriend is innocent. He didn't kill anybody. He doesn't strike me like a killer. Then tell your colleagues. Why don't you tell them so they can have him released? There's more to this than meets the eyes. A lot of people have been compromised. I'm acting safe by coming here to talk to you. Okay. Tell me, who is behind all this? I really don't know for now. But it's someone very influential. If you're my friend as you claim to be, then I want you to tell me this, if you know. That guy that Justice has been accused of killing and some of his friends were arrested some time ago by your people for making an attempt at Justice's life. A few days later, I was told that those boys were released unconditionally and all the charges against them were dropped. I want to know who influenced that decision. Please, I can't give you such information. Then you are not my friend. So get down from my car. You will not like to hear it. But if you insist. I insist. Is your father, Chief Pascal Oko. Jesus. Jesus Christ. What? Commissioner, what are you saying? No, this is time to show that we're friends. Let your boys move into every corner. Then they have to get my daughter. You don't have to tell me that. This is... That is Angel. Oh. You got me so worried. And what are you putting on? Can you begin to tell me what your role is in all that has been happening to justice since we met? What is that supposed to mean? A police officer told me that you had all those boys who tried to kill Justice released at your instance. Begin to explain to me exactly what is your connection with the comic guys and with all that has been happening. What? Harry, we that is telling you this malicious come, 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 come close to me! Don't you dare come close to me. I have not come here to argue with you. I give you one hour. One hour to get justice released by the police. Reinstated by the university. Else. This. This is some poisonous substance. I am going to drink of it. One hour. The clock is ticking. It's all right. It's all right. Um, bye bye. Um, justice. Please sit down. Have your seat. Hmm. You see, I am releasing you. Okay. Deepio, are you in any way teasing me? This is a letter from the registrar of your university. We are stating you in the school too.
You thought I was bluffing. Too bad. I just hit you. Who's this? I'm sorry, but I can't stay alive and watch them kill you. has reinstated me, I am okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, get your filthy hands off her! Idiot! Dad, you can't do anything! Don't bring out the beast in me, Harriet. Don't! I hate you! I just hate you! Okay. Leave us alone! It's okay. Leave us alone! Kelly, come upstairs immediately and throw this wine out of my compound and never allow him inside his compound again. Just get out of my room! Get out of my room! I hate you! It's okay. You don't know what you feel, Harriet. There will be no need for that, sir. <sighs> Before I met Justice, you were like the fourth guy who tried to date me on this campus. And then, all of a sudden, you left without any explanation. Please tell me, why did you do that? Why did you just leave like that? Thank God you said we were four of us. I mean, why don't you go and ask the others? Duke, they've all left the school. They're no longer here. They've all graduated and left. You're just the only one left on this campus. I don't just want to talk about it, Harriet. I don't want to talk about it. Not at all. Duke, Duke. Look, I, I know you used to love me a lot back in the days. And even if you do not feel anything for me anymore, it's fine. But for the love you used to have for me, I beg of you. Please, just talk to me. I really want to know why you left. If your father has sent you to come and find out if I would betray him, his boys, in the Commerce Confraternity on account of what they did to me last year, you go back home and tell him that <laughs> my lips are sealed. I mean, I don't just want to die. I don't want to die, Harold. Uh, are you trying to tell me that it was my father and the Comets that got you to leave me the way you did? I did not say so. You didn't hear it from me. Kelly, Morgan and Co. bungled this operation beyond what we ever thought earlier. And that idiotic officer that told Harriet about my involvement in this saga, 
whoever he is did not have matters at all. Chief, killing justice don't seem a safe and reasonable option this time. Harriet knows too much already. And if such action is taken, it might push her over the edge and you see yourself in a dangerous fight with your own daughter. I know all this. And that was why I asked you to come. There must be a way out. I trusted the comments. And through their failure, they allowed that Nikonpo into my daughter's life. But I will not allow him to stay. Even if Harriet is going to have a boyfriend, definitely not that idiot. No, it's not possible. Like Bob Marley said, when one door closes, many more will open. Good. I can see another beautiful door open for us to get the bastard out of our life. Abe, Abe, are you not talking again? Where is your son? Who are you? I said, where is your son? I, I, I have two sons. One of them is in... Is, I mean the one with you here. Uh, I, 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 I sent him to buy fruit for me. Uh, please, what do you want? <laughs> to this man. I could see him filled with so much fear. Do you know this one actually thought it was my dad who sent me to him? Wait. Could it mean that everything that's been happening to me recently was orchestrated by your father in order to get me out of your life? I... How could a human being be so... Excuse me. Yes, Abby, what is it? What? What's wrong with Papa? Is he in trouble? Then why are you crying? Oh, okay, okay, it's alright, I'll come back home. I'll come back. I'll come now. Okay. What happened? What is it? He didn't say anything, he was just crying and said I should come back home. going to be right? Yes. I mean, Abby is not the emotional type. Something is wrong. I have to go. I, I just have to go. Uh, look, please, Justice, I want to come with you. Uh, there's no need. Please, let me just come. Please. Okay. Abby, what's, what's going on? Why, why is everybody here? Well, what's wrong, Papa? What? Oh, my God. 
I struggle you this minute and tell your father that I said thank you. The war has just begun. Just go. Go before I do something stupid. Justice, look, I know. So just go! Oh! Just go! Away. Before I tell you why I invited you, Chief, I want to plead with you to forgive me for carrying out a highly sensitive test on you and your daughter without your express permission. What was the test? A DNA test. DNA test? For yes. what? I found it curious that your blood did not match Harriet's own. And her mother's, the record of which I still have, did not either. So, what are you trying to say? Chief, Harriet is not your biological daughter. I must say it's a good thing you held out so uh, very strongly during the burial. But you were exceptional too. Yeah. Justice. Yes. I think that knew his death was imminent. What are you talking about? I mean, you saw it yourself. Dad wasn't ill. He was murdered. So what are you talking about? Justice, I know what I'm saying. Four days before Dad's death, he called me in his room and he gave me this. He made me to swear never to open it and to give it to you when you come back in case anything happens to him. Thank God who preserved you to this day, and also to Basi who refused to kill you while you were still in my womb. I'm your biological mother, and I'm serving a life sentence at Calabar Prison for killing your biological father, which offense I did not commit. When I gave birth and weaned you, Basi agreed to take you away and train you for outside the prison environment. We agreed to keep your true identity from you till you're man enough to handle the crisis that could arise if you get to know. Whenever he finally deems it necessary to give you this letter and the picture we took at your infancy, come to the prison and meet me if I'm still alive. I will tell you all you need to know about me and your biological father and family. 
your mother with me. Kelly, track Harriet and Justice down and keep both of them. She is not my biological daughter. Dr. Dennis carried DNA test and confirmed it. Oh, Kelly, I've been fooled for all these years thinking she was mine. Her wretched mother was pregnant for her ex fiance before I killed him and blackmailed her to marry me. And she never told me. Thank God I strangled her with my bare hands before they pulled that bastard habit out of her costume. Kelly, I want the chapter permanently closed. There are things you've not heard and I know you will not like to hear them. I want to end up everything today, starting with Morgan and Cole. Bring all of them out immediately. Yes. Money, I hate you. Nonya, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you with passion. Nonya, I cause you your grief. I cause you even your grief, Nonya. Don't shoot, Pascal. He is your nephew. He is Paul, your twin brother's son. I am Whitney. I had him in prison. Cheap liar. Whitney, don't be a cheap liar. You lost the pregnancy. I did not, Pascal. Bassi did not administer the abortion drug on me, as you told him. He told me everything. In fact, he was the one that helped me to raise him. He was also the one you sent your Kelly to kill. Chief. Why? Oh, I will tell your dead body why. I cannot poison your foolish father to corner my father's world, only for you to appear from nowhere after 24 years to reap where you never saw. No, it is not possible. So you were behind Paul's death, Pascal. You killed your own twin brother and sent me to prison all these years. And... It's just a matter 
But forget the consequences. <laughs> 